As I explained in the previous video, creating codes in NVivo is a relatively straightforward thing to do. While thinking about the codes in general does not have to be that easy, because it will depend on your analytic thinking, on your study, your goals, and what you want to code and how you want to code it. As I said, to code this data in NVivo is very simple and quick. So now I will show you how to code our data. As you can see, I have several sources prepared here. So I was reading through these sources and thinking about possible codes to apply. And the first source that I would like to draw your attention to is this interview with this actress. So here I have this extract, I already selected it so I don't forget where it is. But basically it's about taking risks. So as you remember, our uh, hypothetical study is about factors that help actors achieve success. So here she talks about risks and uh, she says that they are very important to her. They defined the next career move. So uh, it is obvious that risks or risk taken is very important to this person. So let's say we want to create a code uh, that we'll call uh, taking risks. In order to do this, all we need to do is select the extract that we want to code and type the name of our new code in this box here. As you can see, it says code add. So I will call it taken risks. And now we press enter. And this is our extract coded. If we go to our notes folder now, you can see that we have this new code here. And what it says here is that we have one file where this code appeared once. You will see later that as we code more extracts, it will show us more references and more files if these extracts are spread across uh, different transcripts. So now if we look through the other extracts, there are actually some more examples of risk taken in different forms. So again, here this actress uh, talks about a risky situation where she had to drive a car real fast. So again, let's say this is about taking risks. Again, it helped her and this is something she enjoyed. So we can say that these uh, situations stimulate her somehow and, and basically are something that she enjoys. So in this case, because we already have this code selected here, all I need to do is press enter. But if it wasn't selected, so let's imagine it's empty like now, even though it's not there, once I start typing this code, this code appears here, so the suggestion from NVivo appears, and this is the code we want to use. So I'll just click on it and again press enter. As I press enter, you can see that immediately these numbers changed. So now we have two files and two references. So we have two transcripts and two references to this code of taking risks. Now if we go to this transcript, an interview with an actor, Christian Bale, Again, he talks about taking risks. So once again, I will code this extract as taking risks. So this time I will just click on it and press enter. And now let's create a few more codes so that later on we can work with these codes and I can show you a couple of uh, useful options. As I read through the transcripts, this time I found several extracts that I thought we could code as being yourself. So as you can see here, for example, she literally talks about being your, uh, herself. So this is uh, the extract that we need. So I will just create another code and this time it will be called being yourself. As you can see again, this new code appeared here straight away. And we will move on to another extract, another transcript. And here again, she kind of talks about being herself. So I will code it again at the same code. And finally, we have a chef here. She talks about being creative, but she also mentions that some people are just born creative, some people are not. And again, it's important to use that creativity. So use your strengths when being a chef. So I will still call it being yourself just for the purpose of this lesson. And finally, another code I will create here is called parents. As I was reading through the transcripts, I realized that some of these, uh, both actors and chefs, talk about the influence of their parents 
on their career. So again, I thought this could be important and decided to code it. So as you can see here, this is the first uh, extract that we will code as parents because she mentions her dad, maybe not uh, directly the influence of her dad, but she kind of talks about uh, her dad uh, having her watch certain films when she was younger and then eventually she became an actress. These films were not women centric as she says and when she grew up she decided that she does want to promote a kind of an image of a strong and independent, independent woman in her roles. So let's say this was an influence of her parents. So let's code it as uh, parents. Parents were also mentioned in this interview where she says that her mother, I believe, was a chef, a cook, right here. So again, I'll code it as parents. And finally, Christian Bale also mentioned uh, the possible influence of his father, I believe, on his career. So code it as parents again. Remember, this is just for the purpose of our lesson and for the purpose of what we'll do next with our codes. As you can see, coding itself is not difficult in NVivo. So now what I would like you to do before the next lesson is to go through these transcripts and try to code. Try to code whatever you think is interesting and don't worry about approach to coding. You can simply code your data to create a kind of a table of contents. So for example, to divide uh, whatever they talk about into childhood or perhaps interesting stories or anything. Or if you want to go more abstract, you may think about more abstract and, and more inclusive terms such as personality or uh, being real or anything like that. It doesn't really matter. What I would like you to do is to create more codes, ideally, that spread across several sources because in the next lesson we will be organizing these codes. If, however, you don't feel like doing it, if you don't feel like reading these transcripts and coding them, Feel free to download uh, this NVivo file from the next lesson. I'll put it into the files to download so you can use the same file. I will just uh, read these transcripts now and create some codes so that we can work on these codes together.